Hello and Namaste. I am Dr. Sunita Naredi, Infectious Disease Physician at Apollo Hospitals, Hyderabad. Today we will be talking about the frequently asked questions related to Hepatitis B. Hepatitis B virus causes disease with the same name called Hepatitis B virus infection which affects the liver primarily. It can be an acute or a chronic infection. How common is viral hepatitis? If you consider viral hepatitis, hepatitis can be caused by a lot of viruses, one of them being hepatitis B viruses. The other viruses that cause hepatitis include hepatitis A, hepatitis C, hepatitis D, hepatitis E and so on. There are other viruses like CMV, EBV, the usual ones like dengue, chikungunya also that cause hepatitis. So is it a common disease? Yes, viral hepatitis is fairly common. If you go specifically into hepatitis B, there are about 300 million cases of uh, hepatitis B infections, that's chronic hepatitis B infections worldwide. The number of new hepatitis B infections though have been decreasing thanks to vaccinations. What is the difference between hepatitis A, hepatitis B and hepatitis C virus? Like we talked about, there are various different kinds of hepatitis viruses or viruses that cause infection in the liver is called viral hepatitis. Hepatitis A is a virus that is transmitted primarily by the fecal-oral route. It causes usually a mild viral hepatitis, most prevalent in the tropical countries. This is a vaccine preventable disease. This disease can be prevented by vaccines. So if you're coming from a non-endemic area to the endemic area, you should be taking vaccine for hepatitis C. In the endemic countries, most people would have developed hepatitis A by the time they would have become adults. Now, hepatitis B and C are slightly different infections. All these infections are pulled together as a hepatitis viruses because they affect the liver, but phylogenetically they are slightly different. Hepatitis B and C viruses have common modes by which they are transmitted, but cause different diseases. Now, hepatitis B virus and C virus are transmitted by the sexual route or through body fluids. Sexual route is by uh, transmission through the sexual partner and uh, body fluids can be transmitted by transmission through tattoos, in instruments used for tattoos to uh, injections uh, or razors and so on to uh, transmission through blood products. Does hepatitis B vaccine provide protection against hepatitis A inf virus infection? Now hepatitis B and hepatitis A are two different viruses causing two different infections. Both are vaccine preventable, which means you can prevent the disease by taking the vaccine. Hepatitis B virus vaccine is now considered a universal vaccine, which means every person who is born today should be receiving the hepatitis B virus vaccine. Hepatitis A virus vaccine is not currently a universal vaccine. These two are different though there are vaccines which are available which can combine both the vaccines. There are combination vaccines to combine both hepatitis A and hepatitis B. So these are two different vaccine preventable diseases. Can a person who has hepatitis B spread the virus not knowing that they have the virus? Now, hepatitis B is an infection that can cause a mild infection in the acute phase and a lot of people are able to clear that infection or 4 out of 5 people can clear the infection. The remainder of the people, about 20% of the people can go on to chronic infection. When this is a prolonged chronic infection, there are no symptoms and he or she may not know that they have the infection. So when you don't know that you have an infection, you can spread the disease. So can somebody who has hepatitis B spread the disease without realizing it? Absolutely yes. You have to test yourself to know if you have the disease or not, if you are asymptomatic. What if a pregnant woman develops hepatitis B infection or has hepatitis B infection? Worldwide, the commonest mode of acquisition of hepatitis B is from mother to child. There is a high probability of the child developing hepatitis B infection if mother has it. And if the child develops hepatitis B infection, the probability of developing 
chronic hepatitis B infection is very very high and now this can be prevented. So if the mother is tested and found that mother is having hepatitis B infection then the child has to be given certain kinds of medications right at the time of delivery. There are two specific medications that have to be given. One is the hepatitis B vaccine and the second is the hepatitis B immune globulin. Both have to be given in two different locations. So if the hepatitis B immune globulin is given in the right thigh, then the vaccine should be given in the left thigh. Now after delivery, the child still has to complete the entire course of hepatitis B vaccine. Are pregnant women tested for hepatitis B virus infection? The standard protocol worldwide is to test pregnant women for various conditions including hepatitis B. The reason why they are tested is because if the pregnant woman has hepatitis B infection, certain treatment modalities can be taken uh, to prevent uh, the development of infection to the baby. When should a person be vaccinated for hepatitis B? WHO recommends that every child that is born should receive the first dose of hepatitis B vaccine within 24 hours after birth and they should complete a three or a four dose series of vaccine within the first six months of life. Once a person receives hepatitis B vaccine series, they are protected for at least 20 years and probably lifelong. Can hepatitis B disease be prevented? Hepatitis B is a vaccine preventable disease. Anybody who has been vaccinated for hepatitis B is potentially safe from acquiring hepatitis B. If vaccine has not been received or if you are one of those people who have not mounted an antibody response, then you should always use all protection mechanisms to prevent acquiring hepatitis B. What are the things that you can do to protect yourself from acquiring hepatitis B? Always having safe sex practices, which means using condoms, especially when you are having sex with an unknown partner or if you do not know the hepatitis B status of the partner. Certain precautions that can be taken, for example, if you're having a tattoo, use a fresh needle. Do not share personal items like razors. Hepatitis B disease contagious. Hepatitis B is a vaccine preventable disease, but if someone has not taken a vaccine, it can spread from person to person. It can be spread by the sexual transmission as well as by sharing needles, by sharing razors and other personal utensils. So today we have discussed the frequently asked questions connected to hepatitis B viral infection. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay informed. Please consult your doctor for accurate medical advice. Thank you and Namaste.